Man, I'm blather- blathering on and on tonight, aren't I? All right, let's go. <laughs> Speaking of the Ukraine, let's go there. I've been trying to get there for a couple. You're like, Tom, that's really just not important right now. Oh, it's huge, folks. It's huge. First of all, that, that's what gives people like Adam Kinzinger and all the rest of the Republicans, I mean, these people that absolutely just blew up their careers. I mean, they don't care anymore. They're Democrats, people like Kinzinger and all the other <laughs> uh, uh, Republican morons that went and talked at the uh, DNC. Yeah. But they're all, they're all big in defending the democracy that isn't a democracy of Ukraine. So here's Mike Ben's video. It's just, enti- it's just titled, Oh Crap, But It's About the Nord Street Pipeline. Play it for me. You guys might not remember, but NATO was openly talking about activating Article 5 against Russia because Russia might have sabotaged the Nord Stream pipeline. Now we know Ukraine did with the advanced knowledge, at the very least knowledge, and I'm being extremely charitable, you guys, I think know where I fall on this, but we now know that Ukraine did, and we now knew that the CIA knew in advance, which meant the State Department knew in advance, which meant the White House knew in advance, which meant NATO knew in advance, and yet NATO painted Russia, not only did they conduct the attack against a Russian-German pipeline, but they then used it as a false flag predicate to actually double NATO's Black Sea fleet to stop another Russian attack, which NATO knew the whole time was a Ukrainian attack, authorized by Zelensky himself, the Wall Street Journal has reported. But, I mean, go back in time and just read the headlines when it was reported. Why Europe can't protect itself against Russian sabotage threat. Suspected Russian sabotage of Europe's gas pipelines. His officials wondering what infrastructure might be next. A senior diplomat from an eastern NATO country echoed the point. Allies can choose to be more visible and increase their presence either in the air or in the sea to show national populations as well as Russia that we're doing something about the Russian attack. But they all knew it was Ukraine the whole time. This is like a double false flag. It's like a, it's like not only is it attacking a Russian pipeline, killing a German economy and blaming Russia for it, but then actually taking offensive action in response to the thing that you knew you yourself did. Five steps NATO should take after the Nord Stream pipeline attack. This is CS- CSIS, the number one military think tank in the world. The attack on the Nord Stream pipelines for which it appears Russia is likely responsible is a wake up call for NATO and Europe. We have to use Ukraine's attack on a Russian pipeline that we're blaming Russia for to double down on support for Ukraine. But the whole time, they knew it was Ukraine who did the attack. This is three weeks after the attack. NATO steps up support for Ukraine, strengthens deterrence. We're going to increase protection of critical infrastructure because Russia just attacked the Nord Stream pipeline. Actually, NATO knew Ukraine attacked it. One. This gets really complex because of the lies. But if you could, if we, actually, this is when at some point I want to get a giant, but it's got to be technologically savvy or Aaron will hate it. <laughs> but we got to get like a board in here that we can draw timelines on because you really have to kind of see how all of this, how all of this works. It's, I mean, because it's really unbelievable. So you have the Nord Stream pipeline that was blown up, right? Now, here, let me make something clear. Yeah, now, Mike Benz knows who blew it up. It was a CIA, U.S. military, Ukraine op. That's what happened. There's only really that we can confirm two militaries that could pull it off, Russia and the United States. That's it. That could, I mean, you're, you're not talking about getting a mask and a snorkel on yeah. and going down there with an M80. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is like deep sea demolition. Yeah. Okay. Military hardcore op. This is not two Ukrainian morons on a Boston whaler. Okay. That's that's not what's happening here. So you have to look at what they do here. You have to look at the timeline of it. So you have, and then you have the like CISIS, which comes out and says that all of our elections were perfectly secure. Yeah. That all that remember sets the same organization. It said that the 2020 election was secure. CISIS comes out and says. That the Russians did it the same way they said our elections were the most secure in history. Remember that? Chris Krebs. Yeah. Remember that idiot? Same people. Same people. <laughs> Again, it's what I get tell you all the time. Why does anybody who's a Christian, who has the conviction of the Holy Ghost, who has the influence of the Holy Ghost, or somebody who's just well-read and red-pilled, why would you ever listen to these people? 
All bold face lies. To this day, Republicans are afraid to say that the 2020 election was stolen because they're afraid of the political implications of being called a conspiracy theorist. The same people that tell you that Russian blew up their own pipeline. That would be like us going up into Alaska and blowing up our own pipelines or blowing up what's left of the XL pipeline. Let's just, let's just blow it up. Why would we ever do that? Russia is receiving billions, with a B, billions per year from Germany by piping national, natural gas through this pipeline. And by the way, for all of the, these are all the alleged, the, the defenders of democracy and the defenders of, 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 of the environment. Again, all lies, all hypocrisy that I can't deep dive into right now caused the greatest ecological disaster in history was the XL pipeline blow, being blown up. Did you know that? <laughs> the greatest ecological disaster in history. You know, you can talk about Exxon Valdez or all the, or the, the, uh, Gulf, the uh, Gulf uh, oil platform explosion, all that stuff that happened years ago. Oh, yeah. Okay, all yeah. that. No, it doesn't even compare to blowing up a pipeline under the freaking ocean. <laughs> okay? And there's no way, again, once you blow it up, you can't go down there and just go down there with some crazy glue. <laughs> okay, it's just going to dump hundreds of millions of of gallons of oil and gas into the ocean all right so th these alleged defenders of democracy and the defenders of, de of of the environment caused the greatest ecological disaster in human history so they go in there so it was the ukraine and the cia but we'll just say ukraine blows up the, the pipeline by the way joe biden said they were going to do it we have it on video he said well we'll Nord stream will Nord stream 2 will never we, we'll take care of Nord stream 2 this is how we're gonna we are we're gonna prevent Russia from entering into the war. So if they do, there'll be a Nord Stream two implication. So anyway, so we're told that the U. I mean, think about how asinine this is. Again, put on a mask. Asinine. Stand six feet apart. Asinine. Buy an electric vehicle whose batteries are charged by fossil fuels, and you'll save the planet. Asinine. Imagine being so stupid that you believe these things. So freaking stupid that you believe them. It's just like Christians that I deal with who believe the opposite of the Bible and still call themselves Christians. Right. Or believe the opposite of the Bible and believe they're going to prosper or believe that they're correct because they put a I believe in front of it. Not thus says the Lord or it is written. But anyway, so they tell you the Ukrainians blew up their own pipeline. I mean, the Ukrainians, I mean, they tell you that the Russians, the Russians blew up their own pipeline. Why would anybody do that? And now the most mo the the latest implications of that are Germany is no longer fun funding the Ukrainians because the Ukrainians because they found out this was true. So look at look at this, and there's no ramifications, there's no repercussions at all because there's no media, there's no media outside of people like you and me. There's no media. So the Ukrainians, along with CIA help and and, and military help, in my opinion, blow up the Nord Stream pipeline. They blow it up. And then it's used by NATO as a predicate. Now, remember, the CIA, oh, now this has all come out. This is not right-wing conspiracy theory. This is not my opinion. It's now come out that the Ukrainians blew up Nord Stream 2. All got that, right? The Ukrainians yep. blew it up, and the CIA had knowledge of it before, during, and after. That is the truth. For everyone practicing evil, hates light, does not come to light, lest their deeds be exposed. John chapter 3, verse 20, Jesus speaking. That is what is true. So now we know that's what's true. But what was told to us was that the Russians blew up their own pipeline. And imagine, again, imagine how stupid you have to be to follow this. The Russians blew up their own pipeline so that we would defend Ukraine or that we wouldn't defend Ukraine or that we wouldn't get involved. What, what sense does it make that Russia would blow up their own? And how could we even use that as, if Russia did blow up their own pipeline, why would we use that as an excuse to enter into the Ukrainian war with Russia? Do you see what I'm saying there? Yeah. How, would that, how, would that, how would that motivate us to back Ukraine if Russia blows up their own pipeline? It seems like, just let Russia blow up its own country then. Go ahead, Russia, blow up your own country. Blow up your own economy. <laughs> so, th so that's used as a predicate somehow to support Ukraine against Russia. For, I mean, now it's 2024. This just came out. I pulled this. I mean, this just came out two, three months ago. So for all these years, we've been told 
that Russia blew up their own pipeline. And for some reason, that motivates United States politicians and military figures to back the Ukrainians in this war. How, I don't know. But now we find out the entire time that it was a lie. And now there's absolutely no ramifications or repercussions at all.